Open the template in Photoshop. You can delete layer one and APC 0254. And now you can add in your own photos. Let's minimize Photoshop. We're going to put this photo into the template and then we're gonna crop it and put it into the template. Open up Photoshop again. We'll do a file, place embedded. Let's click on that. The dialog box pops open. Make sure you're on your desktop, select the file, and then click on place. It might open up in camera raw because it's a DNG, a digital negative. It's going to ask you if you want to enhance the photo first. Enhance it if you'd like to, and then click on OK. Here's the image. Do a Command T to transform to make it smaller and put it in the left area where it says static. Now we want to open that photo in Photoshop to crop it. Do a File, Open, find that file again, and then click on Open. It's going to ask you again if you want to enhance it, and then click on Open. Get the Crop tool, turn outside of the crop area, and then press Return. This has a nice angle to your objects to give movement to the design. Do a Command A to select all, a Command C to copy it, come over to the other tab, where the template is, and do a Command V to baste it in. Make sure you click on the Move tool, let zoom out, do a Command T to transform, and we'll click and drag to make the image smaller. We'll put it inside of the template, press Return, let zoom in, and we can move it to where we want to put it. Here's the photo before and the photo after. We want one photo cropped to make two photos for this assignment. And then get the type tool and you'll answer these questions. This line right here is use the type tool to select this text to start writing your answer. So the first one is speak about how the image looked before and then what it looked like after. And then you say whatever you want to say, you start typing it. And then you type this answer for number two and then you type this answer for number three.